Okay, anyway, I just had, you know, some wonderful thoughts about J.P. Morgan Chase and stuff. And I want to do, um, basically just re-elaborate my thoughts that I just had for the, for the sake of, uh, archive. So, anyway, kids, I personally have nothing, no beef with, with J.P. Morgan kids. J.P. Morgan is just your typical big bank kids. They just process a lot of accounts, and, um, you know, at the end of the day, kids, there, there's other big banks that do much worse than J.P. Morgan and Chase. So, um, you know, you got things like, well, I'm not going to mention any names, but they know who they are. The ZD. At the end of the day, kids, I'd probably still fund your uh, J.P. Morgan and Chase. Um, you know, we're going to make cuts and stuff, but um, yeah, I'll st I, sure, I mean, if you want federal money, like, you got to tell me what it's for and stuff, too, though. Like, seriously. And then I, I had another thought, seeing that I'm thinking practical and, and realistically and stuff, that, um, I, you know, I can't get an account with, with your J.P. Morgan and Chase. I can't have a checking account with, with your big bank. And um, I was just thinking to myself, first of all, not only the other people that might have similar issues, but, um, you know, I, I owed them for overdraft fees, kids, and I never paid them, and their overdraft fees were too high, and I just said, you know what, I'm not going to pay it. And then I had another thought, Chase, it's been over 10 years, and you still won't let me have an account with you people, well, whatever. So, like, at the end of the day, I really don't have much to say about J.P. Morgan Chase. I really don't have much good things or bad things to say about this big bank in particular. Um, you know, all big banks are probably bad kids. Like, but at the end of the day, you, you have hard-working men and women that work hard for a paycheck at, at your bank. And, you know, you can say evil Wall Street all you want, kids, but at the end of the day, not all of Wall Street's evil, kids, just certain parts of it, but you wouldn't know that. There's a lot of good men and women that work here on Wall Street, so, you know, you need to take that into consideration. What about the secretary? What about the, uh, you know, the personal assistant and stuff? The, you're, not all your Wall Street's bad kids, just certain parts of your Wall Street's bad. So I'm not anti-Wall Street kids, but I'm not all pro-Wall Street either. But Wall Street, it did seem like a few years ago, like maybe in the 80s, you guys seemed a little more honest in the 1980s. Was that because of the paper system? I'd like to revert back to a paper system, personally, kids. I think you kids rely too much on your smartphones and stuff. Whatever happened to the days of the printer and all that stuff. So I'd like to revert back to a paper check system. But hey, you people didn't vote for me and stuff. Hashtag Facebook Terry 2016. So yeah, basically we're open and closed book on J.P. Morgan and Chase. Nothing bad to say about them. Nothing good to say about them. Just another big bank in your scheme of big banks. But remind, let me remind you of my point. You have some good working men and women that work here, kids. And they got kids to feed and shit. So at the end of the day, not all your Wall Street's evil. Just parts of it. So... You know, you can say, oh, bad Wall Street, bad Wall Street. I said, there's, there's hardworking men and women that rely on a fucking paycheck to, to pay the rent and put uh, a roof over their heads and stuff. So, like, at the end of the day, kids, this is where I'm going to leave it. And th this goes with the whole class warfare thing, too. None of us are really better than anybody in this room, kids. And, you know, I'm privileged and you're rich, so give and take, you know, 
we all should respect each other a little more and be a little nicer and don't jump to conclusions. Because if you jump to conclusions, you're, you're gonna uh, make a mistake and stuff. So there you go. A vote for me over Crooked Hillary, a vote for me over those for sale Democrats at Terry2016 on Facebook. All your Democrats are crooked kids. A vote for me on your, on your 2020 presidential uh, thing. Serious.